Hi everyone, Bailey here again with another Common Tree ID video for Lincoln, Nebraska. Today we're going to be looking at the American basswood, or Tilia Americana. Something really interesting to note about basswoods is they're planted all over the city of Lincoln. They're super common, and most of them are some sort of hybrid form of American basswood, and so they all look a little bit different depending on the particular cultivar, which is just a fancy name for the variety of tree. So I'll kind of just talk about them as a genus in general, because most of the trees you see, it'll be really hard to tell whether they're pure American basswood or some sort of hybrid. So a couple interesting things to note about this tree, um, especially growing in cities, but often while they're found in nature as well, they tend to be multiple stemmed. So you can see this beauty behind me has got five or six really big stems. They branch really low. So instead of like a lot of trees where you see the trunk goes way up and then the branching starts, for American basswood, you'll see the branching occur pretty low a lot of the time. And it's got this beautiful dark, dark brown bark with shallow fissures in it that sometimes develop into deep furrows as the bark ages. And it's got these flat top plates that you'll see as well. And again, the bark can be somewhat variable too because again, there are so many different varieties growing around the city. Let's take a look at the leaves and some of the other uh, structures up close. So first, if we take a look at the leaves, they tend to be really shiny and green for some of the varieties that are planted. The native ones won't be that way quite as much. If we take a look at the leaf up close, they're mildly heart-shaped or chordate, and they come to a really pointy curved tip that we can see here at the top. They're going to be somewhat unequal at the base, like you can see this one has got a sort of a slight diagonal at the bottom. And the twigs, especially when they're young, are super bright green, which is another distinct feature. Right now, we're in just about to move into June. These are releasing their seeds, and the seeds are on these small structures, which are called bracts, and you'll see them when it's on the tree. You'll kind of see these bracts hanging under the leaf. And the reason these bracts are shaped this way is because when it's really windy, it helps the seeds to travel far so that they can disperse, which is really advantageous for the tree. So again, they have these slightly heart-shaped leaves with a diagonal form at the base, a pointy tip, and then serrations or little teeth along the edge. And again, the size of the leaves, I and mean, we can even see on this one branch that the size of the leaves can really be quite variable. And that's the case for trees. Some trees will all have big leaves, some will have smaller leaves. It really just depends on the individual tree. But things to remember for the Tilia genus or the Basswood genus is we're going to have this dark uh, fissured bark these leaves, which again have those serrations that are roughly heart-shaped, and we'll look for those light bright green yellow bracts in the springtime when it's seeding. Again, American basswood, generally the Tilia genus, more specifically Tilia americana. Take a look for these guys in your neighborhood. They're planted all around Lincoln and they're a beautiful tree.